All right, let me bring Stella in because obviously you are a supporter of Keir Starmer's. Um, you hear Tim here say, you know, he dug in and he uh, adhered to what he considered to be the right kind of moral path and stance in all of this. What did you expect him to do and what did you think of what he did say? I understand why Keir Starmer has held the position that he has held because when you have an international emergency, likewise with COVID, you want to show that the country is united, you want to show that we are united with our allies. However, I have to say I disagree with the position of continuing to support Israel in its military op op operation right now because we know we know that the aims of the Israeli army are not achievable. If you ask any expert in this policy area, they will say it is not achievable. I have, I have yet to see any position explained how exactly the Israeli army is going to manage to achieve its aims. Now, when it comes to Adi McDonald, I have to say, I really disagree with the suspension of Andy McDonald. I think Keir Starmer is wrong in doing that. Why? Because I believe this is a matter of conscience. MPs should be allowed to follow their morals and their own values, and they should be allowed to speak freely. And I do not think that what Andy McDonald said, I think it has been taken out of context context. But we all I know what not... the context is. The context is exactly what you've described in the way yes. you have chosen to describe yes. it that is going on in the Middle okay. East. So we know yes. what the context is. You can't really take something about that okay. out of context. Neither can you take the lyrics of a song which remain the lyrics of that particular song out of context. They are the lyrics of that song. They haven't been suddenly transformed into a slogan on a t-shirt right. or misrepresented as something else. They are the lyrics of that song. That song is predicated on erasing or expunging as as indeed no. the central I... the central tenet of Hamas is mm -hmm. to eradicate the Jews from Israel to make I to make use... to to make that country free of all absolutely, Jewish residents. Absolutely, absolutely, Hamas. So, so therefore, to sing... No supporter of Hamas, Hamas here or in the no, Labour so Party, there sing, is none. To... No supporter, no sympathiser. However, to go back to the, to the phrase, from the river to the sea, I believe that there are people, for sure, who use, like Hamas, who use this a phrase in the way that you are describing, in a genocidal way. I completely uh, uh, disagree with that. However, there are a lot of people who use this phrase to simply mean for Palestine to have its own state while living side by side with Israel. There are a lot of people who use this phrase. I know because I have seen people use this phrase in this Maybe way. Maybe they don't understand and they were, the, 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 and, the repercussions and, and the real ramifications said, of it. Maybe what they Andy don't. McDonald said, and I can, I can read to you what he said. I can read to you exactly what he said. Um, he said, Palestinians can live in their homelands as free and equal citizens between the sea, uh, sorry, no, no. it's, I'm reading the wrong... Um, okay, well, this is one of the issues. Sorry, with, with, with... We won't rest until we have justice, until all people, Israelis and Palestinians, between the river and the sea, can live in peaceful liberty. That's what Andy McDonald said. Does that sound, does that sound like he's suggesting Israel should not exist as a state or the Jewish people should go somewhere else. No, it sounds like he's asking for peace and liberty for both the Israelis and the Palestinians. What is the situation now in the Labour Party after Keir Starmer made the speech he did today? Is there conflict? Is there schism? Are there going to be people who feel that they can no longer stay members or stay in the shadow cabinet or anything of that kind? And if so, what then? There are, the, people are willing to be generous with Keir Starmer because he has proven to be a capable leader. So they're being understanding with the very difficult positions that he's in, but their patience is running, is running out because we have an intense humanitarian cra crisis. People are having operations without anesthesia mm -hmm. in Gaza and people are screaming for the, for the same sympathy that we are showing for the victims of Hamas, show the same sympathy for the victims of the Israeli army. Tim. I wonder how long the position actually of peace will last, Vanessa. Um, there's reports tonight, we need it to be confirmed, just with the hospital bombing, that a shell has landed in a refugee camp in Gaza. 47 bodies have apparently been counted. I wonder how long the patience of uh, Labour people opposed to Keir Starmer's position will last as the bombing, as the uh, Israeli army goes into Gaza to eliminate Hamas, to eliminate the tunnels where they keep their weapons of, um, of menace. I think the Keir Starmer's position is 
absolutely very fragile. I think Labour Party MPs, councillors and members are just waiting to see whether they can push him a little bit further or whether events will push him a little bit further because I think his position is incredibly precarious. And, of course, it's a moral issue, but for Labour it's also an electoral issue. There are lots of um, voting groups in inner-city parts of Britain who may easily stay at home or vote Green or vote for another party if they feel that Labour aren't representing the Palestinians in the way that they want. So. I don't think it will change the outcome of the can, next general can, can election. You explain, but this people, is precarious politics. So people may be watching and listening to this and wondering various things about the Labour Party. A, they may be wondering why Keir Starmer's stance on Israel or Gaza is relevant to anything because he is, A, in opposition, exactly. utterly powerless anyway. So whatever edict he issues, whatever he decides to say or doesn't decide to say, exactly. is of no consequence at all on the world stage, none whatsoever. In fact, it's very unlikely also that whatever Rishi Sunak has to say will have any influence at all on, on Netanyahu or anybody else. So people might be wondering why is so much significance being ascribed to what Keir Starmer says? They also might be wondering why why it is that so many, it seems, Labour uh, MPs and Labour supporters have a very, very strong stance on what they describe as Palestine, have a deeply anti-Israel mm -hmm. philosophy, when, for example, they would be the very first people to stand up and defend, let's say, for example, in one of many, many other humanitarian issues, gay rights. Mm -hmm. Were anyone at all to impugn gay rights, these Labour MPs or these Labour Shadow Cabinet Ministers and members would be outraged, and quite rightly, they'd be horrified, utterly horrified. It's not the but, 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 but in almost every country surrounding Israel, all of Israel's neighbours, not all the countries, but many of the countries, gay rights are absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Uh, don't exist at all. There are no people. And, and many more, uh, Mus and, many and, more, and so, many so, more so, Muslims are killed in parts of the world outside of Israel. 600,000 people have been killed in Yemen. Quite. Where have been the protests Quite. in Britain no from, from Muslim Britons about that? Exactly. It's only when Israel attacks Muslims no. do these people so, seem to so get what, very what exercised. What is the reason, Stella, for that? There is, there is absolutely no discrepancy. You can be both pro-gay rights and not be okay with the fact that right now the figures that are coming out of Gaza are that you have almost 10,000 people dead. And I understand the figures. We are not sure whether they are correct. I understand they come from the Hamas Ministry of Health. Even if the figure is half, even if it's 5,000 people, this is what people are protesting. It's not about being against Israel. Why, where, where, support, where are the protests against all the other countries the that persecute? Where, where, where are all the other protests against countries that persecute Muslims? The difference, the difference with the other countries that persecute Muslims is that the UK government and its allies, the US and the EU, are not giving military aid to Israel. That is a difference. The people who the, who the British people and the Labour Party voters are voting for get to decide what kind of advice and what kind of support they're going to give Not to true. the far-right government aid, We give military aid to Saudi Yahoo, Arabia, but there's no protests against Saudi Arabia you will in have the noticed, Yemen. Which you will have noticed left-wing people are extremely against. I haven't seen the protests no, against either. Saudi Arabia. You, if there was an active conflict, believe me, there, there is would an active be, conflict. There would conflict. Be, it's called Yemen. There will be, many and, more people and there were there. protests against what was happening in, in Yemen. I, You're telling me there aren't groups that have been organised. I haven't seen the protests Yemen. day well, after weekend harder. after weekend. Look harder. There, well, they, if, if I were to say there appears to many people to be an obsession in the Labour Party, among left-wingers, with Israel, the only democracy in the Middle East, the only I democracy in the Middle East, you. then what is that based on? What is the reason for that? I used to that? agree with you, and I've been to Israel, and you know what? I would live in Israel. I would not live in any of its neighbouring countries. And I used to think the same as you. And then I started looking into this, and I'm looking at what is happening right now in the media, on social media, everywhere. And I cannot believe the ease with which we are accepting a death toll. I don't think that anyone is accepting a death toll with ease. How least least of all Israelis who are horrified not, by, the, not, by the by the by the death. Exactly, they are I don't, there, there, is, there is no desire in Israel. Israel to eliminate any race or to or to eradicate any, not any, any, um, any any people or any religion. Why are we not asking then?
for a ceasefire so that the Israeli government can come to a decision and a plan of what is going to happen at the end of this military operation. Because right now, when this operation is over, which could go on for months, we're going to be back to square zero. And the public opinion, let me tell you, let's wait until Christmas. You are saying that people right now, that the British voters right now are supporting Israel in its operation. I'm not saying that. Let's I haven't said wait. that at all. Let's wait. I've asked see. about the left-wing obsession with Israel, the only democracy in the Middle East. Thank you very much indeed, both of you, for coming. A very interesting discussion, very passionate indeed. And